Physical literacy is really important for your child's well-being. It's as important as reading and writing skills and the ability to work with numbers. Basically, physical literacy boils down to the ability of your child to have a broad movement vocabulary. The more movement vocabulary they have, the more likely they are to participate in physical activities for the rest of their life. Summer is a great time to be uh, physically active. It's a great time to learn some movement vocabulary. Summer has very few temperature barriers, so you can get out and play in the outdoor environment. You can use the water. But it's really important for your children to be physically active in all four seasons, in water, ice, land, and snow. The long-term athlete development model uh, specifies that for children ages 5 to 8, the most important thing you can have is fun. Fun is critical to the success and enjoyment of a child and motivating them to be physically active for the rest of their life. What's really important for children 5 to 8 in summer camps is that they play games. Games give an opportunity to actually develop movement skills in a repetition-based repetition manner as well, games offer a slight level of rivalry. We don't want competition in the ages 5 to 8, but we do want a little bit of rivalry. Games and many, many different types of games are essential for a good sports camp. For ages 5 to 8, agility, balance, and speed, and fundamental movement skills are the fundamental things to have in any camp. You want your child to be exposed to situations where they can learn all the skills, they can have fun, and they can develop their agility, their movement ability, their coordination, their speed, and their balance in every sort of environment. The child should be using every part of their body. Use their upper limbs, use their lower limbs, be climbing, be rolling, be tumbling. If they can, they should be exposed to the indoor environment, the outdoor environment, a water environment, and even environments that are things like riding a bike or being on an, uh, a horse. So use every part of your body and use every possible situation. Uh, a camp can develop fitness for children of five to eight, but a camp should not be a fitness camp at that age. All the activities that they do should be fun, motivating, encouraging. You should be looking for a coach who knows how to take care of your kids and have structured lesson plans that give them the ability to, to explore all possible movement patterns. It is okay to put a, a child into a sports camp that is a single sport, like gymnastics or athletics, also known as track and field. If they're knowledgeable about the long-term athlete development model, they'll be able to provide development of all fundamental movement skills in a fun and encouraging manner. So you can put them into a sports camp that is a single sport as long as they adhere to the development of uh, the person as a whole and not specifically for the sport. When parents are choosing a camp, they should choose a camp that walks the walk and talks the talk. Anytime you look at their snack patterns or their lunch patterns in these camps, there should be highly nutritious food available.